bruh, like I'm still pregnant. I'm still pregnant. How am I still pregnant? Um, um, it's fine to still be pregnant. I am at, I don't know how many weeks are you at even at this point? I don't even know, girl. Just know I'm still pregnant. Every single time anybody asks me, how's your day going? I'm still pregnant. And how are you? Um, and yeah, I'm loving it. It's great. Um, however, <laughs> it is my greatest fear that if I sneeze the wrong way, if I laugh way too hard, if I just have the wrong, like if anything, just, just one movement and whoosh, I don't know why in my head I picture when the water, hey, water, <laughs> woo, child, when the water breaks, I don't know why, in my, I think watching too many movies and series has really um, created this perception in my head that it's going to be a waterfall, like it'll be like one of those things where guys will be like, woo, like everyone said, <laughs> everyone will be like, right, so like Nairobi water, basically. Like, you know, sort of those things where it's like you've not had water for three days and then in your house and then all of a sudden Nairobi water remembers, oh, hygiene, water. They want to wash clothes, their dishes, their bodies. And all of a sudden it's just like, Zh. So basically, this video is a pregnancy update. It is a, what, in my hospital bag? I would lift it, but... I don't know whether you watch my Insta stories. Um, I don't know how to pack light. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. It's almost like an, it's like an impairment. Like, I'm always so close, so close to packing light and then something happens. It's just something intervenes and just makes it not happen. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I think, I think realistically and truthfully speaking, actually, from the, I, I did a test run. So I'm wearing glasses because... Also, that marathon of, I think how I, I even have the, let me tell you why. I have this head between my legs. And um, only this time, it's from the inside trying to jet out. And it literally just sits on my bladder. This really, really beautiful child is just settled on the bladder. I literally pee at least three times in an hour. And then usually, and this is the most annoying thing, because I drink a lot of water. So it'll be like, sometimes it's like, most of the times it's just like, ding. Actually, do you know what I've just noticed? I can actually see the reflection of where I'm seated in the whole thing on the mirror. Oh my God. Why? I will be shooting in this room. Why have I not been shooting in this room? Tell me why I have not been doing that. Oh my God. Yes. I feel like we are centered i wanted a dinner today because i wanted to try out the breast pump on camera why you ask even i don't know oh so oh yes i do actually i do my bad i do so i i did um i was curious to see what the feeling would be like and i put it on one boob you know my very big breastuses that i got as a result of peanut that i love oh so much that i literally talk about with so much zeal um i'm hoping if i keep talking about them nicely you know words of encouragement they might stay you know sometimes that's all something needs eh um and <laughs> i'll be so sad if i go back to being a 32 double a like that was that was not life I don't even know. I don't even know if there's... Maybe if I give away all those clothes. You know, sometimes you have to manifest. If I give away the clothes, the bras, anything that could fit my little pimples, right? And then now I'm left with this situation that I carry around now. Um, you've so digressed, babe. You don't even know where you are. Glasses. I'm wearing the glasses because I have astigmatism. So I generally cannot see very well when there's a lot of bright light. And... I thought it might work, but then I've realized with the reflection of that, that I can even see on there, and I could see when I was doing the trial videos, it might not work, so I'll have to take these off. But then I almost feel like I can see. <laughs> it just gets really bright, and then I'm not even sure I'm seeing properly. So that's one thing, too. Oh, breast pump. That's where we were. So I tried on my boob, and literally it just started, and I was like, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, somebody has to see me experience this because, and I don't know, you know, most normal people would probably call their husbands or they would call somebody, their friends and be like, can you see this craziness? But no, 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 not me. I was like, I need people to understand just how wild this is. There's a story that I saw about India 
where it's a fetish where men love to suckle titties and they like to drink the breast milk off the lactating mother their wives usually and i was like this story but um maybe we should start the video and maybe i should take my glasses off with the music can i Ooh. i see the light i see everything but i see nothing really because now i just see circles and black dots and all the da 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 da, -da. right let's blink does that really help really okay let me try and bring everything closer to me too okay so oh, oh my gosh oh, i told you guys so the braxton hicks have become extra super mega like i'm contracting at least half the day like this just it's like remember this, again um, this is me assuming that you follow me on instagram at nathan derev a n i t a n d e r u um i've been trying to gauge if i should put my last name on there but then it's gonna be so long i don't know anyway um so yeah i'm so yeah like i'm literally always on braxton hicks that's the only way i actually caught the move i honestly feel like every single time peanut moves and then i'm grabbing the phone to go get a recording the baby stops immediately it's like the baby knows i'm about to record the movement when i have braxton hicks which is the one that i put up on my ig the other day it's just and it's all and it's so painful okay let me be honest it's it depends on your tolerance for pain it's Ba it's like crap to me it's like cramping which i used to have really bad ones i'll have you know like i used to pass out and wake up and i'm like is this thor's house um it, it just be like really nuts so it's painful but it's kind of bearable to me so a lot of the times i'm actually having it right now but that one is like pain in the wait let's see if my tummy moves Oops. anyway i don't know yep there we go better yeah, but it's um it's it's bearable, you know. Also, I'm a G. Fresh out of L D. Um and yeah, maybe I should probably start this video if I intend to eat dinner this year. Okay. Oh my god. Why did I put things on the floor if I knew it would be this tasky just to get them? I move slow these days. <laughs> Hella slow, so please don't judge me. Oh my god, sir, what is this? Remember how it was burping in the previous videos? It's gonna be Braxton Hicks in this one because I get them like consistently every day without fail. So one of the things I find very fascinating about it is, so it was discovered by a guy called Dr. John Braxton. And what it is, is basically, um, it's like uterine movements. I think so. Your uterus moves. Um, again, please don't take any, any medical information or advice from me. I'm just telling you what I usually tend to Google or watch on YouTube or just because I told you, I love knowing things about why my body is doing things. It kind of helps me understand better what's happening to me in which case i don't feel stressed about it or i'm not wondering why is this happening to me i understand why it's happening i think it's very fascinating that you get braxton hicks because i'm a first-time mom so i've never experienced labor before i don't know what a contraction feels like so to be able to kind of get they i think they're called practice contractions so that when it does happen you'll be like oh yes sis I know what that is, but my doula and my uh, guy and I have told me over and over again, oh child, I will know it's the real deal when it happens and I cannot talk. Or so usually sometimes when I get them, I can still converse like now, or I can fall asleep like I did like pretty much last week and this week. So that's how I usually know it ain't it yet. But when it comes, I've been told, nobody needs to tell you. Oh, it's a joint call labor. You will know that you're laboring. So when that time comes, fantastic. So speaking of, so let's, let me give you the updates on my pregnancy. What's been happening? What's been happening? What's been happening? What's been happening? Okay. So we found a nanny. Yay. Everybody is freaking me out about this nanny story because they're just like, Anita, nobody finds a nanny one time. But you know what? I'm hopeful. Hopeful. She seems so nice. So yeah, so hopefully we found the nanny. Um, I'm very excited. I'm doing up her room. Um, I just I want her to be very comfortable and very happy and you know feel well inducted into the family. I'm hoping she'll probably come 
um, earlier than when the baby is supposed to be here so that we can, you know, kind of get her inducted into the family and so she can just know her way around the house and know where everything is. So I'm excited about that. And then um, what's the other thing? Um, we know what school I'm lying. We... <laughs> We already went and um, did like the like you know just paying deposits in the hospital and doing all these things. So when we go, it's an easier time. Honestly, healthcare is something that really, 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 really has become a new passion of mine in this country because I just I find it so ridiculous that in I don't know about all hospitals, but majority of the hospitals they will not treat you until you put a deposit down. So like, what happens in the event that you know I don't know like your water just randomly breaks and you need to dash. You forgot your cards or maybe you didn't carry your cards or maybe you were i don't know i'm like what if this and there's so many what ifs that go through my mind and i'm just like how have we managed to you know just survive with the state of healthcare in this country um and then also okay I, i'm trying not to speaking of politics ah, never mind this thing okay i'm sitting on like a drum imagine it's not comfortable it's like not it i should probably be sitting on the ball because the ball is like a little more you know kind of like this oh and then um whenever i get the braxton hicks also my family are you that's biaki jackie barrett and vanessa vanessa cooked for us they're having din din which i've said i will bail out of until i'm done with this video so i can actually do it quick so if you can hear them as you do in almost every video it's not a mansion. You will hear the noise. Um, so whenever I get Braxton Hicks, I usually always go on all fours. Not all fours, really, because it's more like I'm on my knees and then I place my head on either the couch or just somewhere. And there's something that about it that makes the pain go away. Like, I'm always just like... I don't know what it is about that. That it's also how you got pregnant. But yes, it's like there's something about it that just kind of makes the pain go away. So speaking of... Um, being on my knees my hospital bag i mean i think somewhere along the way as i'm speaking if i think of any other pregnancy updates i will let you know um oh a question i keep getting is are we having the baby in kenya of course we're having the baby in kenya what do you mean i'm like this, so the thing that or do i just make that another whole video i don't think you'll understand the level of pride i have as an african and as a kenyan and how i want to raise a child who feels that way i don't want that I know there's this thing of, you know, I, I don't know what, I don't know where it came from. And I mean, I kind of know where it might have come from. And I know a lot of kids have heard it growing up where it's, you know, you know, just it's, it's almost like, you know, you've been brought up into this continent and then actually, you've been brought up into, or you've been brought into this continent, but work hard and leave or like work hard and go find greener. Pa we could make this that greener pasture. We could make this that dream destination. And this, I don't know. That's kind of how I've always thought. And we want our child to have national pride. Do you know how proud Americans are of where they're from? Like, it's incredible. And it's not something that you often see with a lot of Africans. I might get flagged for this, but it's the truth. But I'm a very proud African. And I want to raise a very proud African. Our baby will always be a African and will always be partly American and partly African. But they will know that it is great to be a part of both continents and what doesn't work here that works there they'll see how best to make it work here and what works here and doesn't work there they will have the best of both worlds and i want them to be culturally rich and i am not trying to run away from this incredibly beautiful continent that i was born into that my husband found love in that we created magic love and a baby in so yes in short the baby will be born in kenya Am I still recording? We are. Great. So, what's in my hospital bag? Pew, 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 pew. All right. So, first of all, like I said, whenever I get the Braxton Hicks, um, I get some sort of pain relief when I'm on my knees and um, leaning forward, right? Um, so, then to the hospital, I've been told I'm allowed to go with a yoga mat and my, my ball, just in case I want to kneel and just, you know, that's how I want to deal with labor. But... <laughs> I have premium knees, darling. My knees are very premium. So what I'm going to use is um, this. So this is what came with, I like how I'm saying that, and we got this the other day. So you ask yourself, what have you been using for your premium knees? Anyway, so this is like a really, really cushy thing that I got for, if you watch my video about the items that I bought for Peanut, um, it's what you use when you're kneeling at the bathtub to wash the baby. It has been 
multi-purpose ever since I received it. But however, so I intend to use this to kneel on and then place my head on something whenever, because there's something about that posture that just brings me relief. So that's going, it's not really going into the hospital bag, but it's going to be in the car and we're going to have it. There's this, basically what we're doing is we're going to put certain things in the boot, but this, <laughs> my knees will be on this once again. Okay. The other thing that I bought, I haven't even, oh, I haven't actually unpacked them. I was like, oh, since I'm going to do this video, I might as well do them. It's something called nipple shields. I, who, somebody commented and told me, did somebody comment and say something about them? I don't know how I found out about nipple shields. I must have been watching a YouTube, I must have been watching a YouTube video about what's in other people's hospital bags. That's when I found out about nipple shields. And um, I have flat, I have one flat nipple or so, or like they're not... Like, I don't have those, you know, the, you know I'm, I've always been envious of people who have those, like, protruding nipples where they can just get them pierced because they're always just, mm. but yeah, I don't have those. You need to work to get mine to earn. And, um, so sometimes I wonder whether my husband minds that I really, really tend to say the silliest shit on the internet. Um, oh, so, the, oh, oh, there are two. Of course there are two. Did you, so let me... <laughs> Let's take a moment and laugh at me, please. <laughs> stupidity. The stupidity of this child. Of course, there are two. So I have different nipple sizes. So um, my doula, Esther said I can share her number. So I will put her number here. Is her number there? I think so. Okay. So um, also, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching my other video. In the numbers that you did, I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the comments and thank you for the love. Generally, truthfully, honestly, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please remember to like, please share, and please leave a comment and let me know because especially if you've been down the mummy journey before and you're seeing a lot of these things and you're just like, this girl is just wild. Somebody rail, somebody rein her in and let me help her and give a bit of advice. I'm always open to advice. Okay, so... <laughs> as it should the nipple shields are too and they come in this really cute they come with a case where you can place them as well so basically if you have flat nipples you can use these i'm being so rough eh <laughs> the nipples are like not like that sis buy his dinner first um so yeah so from what i saw in the video you kind of just like place it where your flat nipple is and it has okay and it just kind of i'm guessing it fills with milk and then and well yeah i guess <laughs> yeah so i got nipple shields oh, i'll drop on nipples and um so i have them in different sizes for the different nipples yeah girl <laughs> we're out here rolling with different nipple sizes you know you never know what you're gonna find it's like oh well, pick a box pick one i don't know anyway let me stop my stupidity um wait why do okay so why are these things normally made so difficult to to open okay if you've watched my videos before then you know i almost never read instructions i should probably keep that but it doesn't say the number. So how will I know? How will I know which one is which? It says the number right there on the nipple. Read the nipple, people. Learn to read the nipple. Okay. That's also for you people who just kind of suck the nipple and nothing is happening and you're just slobbering. Um, okay. So wait. So... As we have already learned, the size of the nipple will be indicated there. And it comes in these really cute cases, which I think are super cool. Also, but why are they so hard to open? I'm just like scared of breaking it. Okay, we'll keep the instruction thing. Do I wash it first? I'm just like, I at least the sterilizer. I can go in the sterilizer, I think. Which I still haven't bought. I was told today that the best one to get is the Avent one because um, the other ones go into the microwave, which limits the size of the bottles that you can use. Da, 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 da. So I will get the Avent one. I will look for it. I, I did not see it when I went shopping the other day because I was actually looking for a sterilizer. I did not find it. But in my God, can we start the video? 
in my hospital bag. The nipple shields are going in, all right? Okay, up next is what I... <laughs> no, I know I'm notorious for being extra and having way too much fabric whenever I'm doing anything. I swear the native woman and Naomi have not made me anything for the hospital room. I intend to go in Conroe's, no makeup. I just want to deliver a happy, healthy baby listening to the most lit playlist. Um... And just, you know, hang out with my husband. And I've told him to stay up here, though. <laughs> like, I'm just like, maybe not see what's happening. I Even I don't want to see what's happening. Because I saw, um, when you're putting together your, um, it's called your what? It's not your wish list. It's like your, not your hospital demands. It's like your, there's this thing you write. What is it called? It's called, it's called, I sent it to my husband the other day. It's called a birth plan. So I, I already put mine together and in my birth plan is I want mood lighting. I want music and a whole bunch of other things. I can read it to you if you want. But um, so one of the things that I'm going with because I don't know what the hospital ones are like. So this is my like my <laughs> I don't know. It's like a dress that allows you to, you know, breastfeed and it's like you can Clip it and open it, open it. It's just like my loose fitting, you know, when they want to come and keep checking or I don't know. It's like my hospital gown. That's, I'm going to go with my own. So that's what that is. Um, and then I have peanuts coming home outfit. I know, I had to. It's my favorite one. Like, I'm just like, ugh. I really want peanut to come back in this. Plus, it's really cold anyway. Um, peanuts about four kilos at this point, so it'll be a miracle, um, if it fits, but hey, so that's the coming home outfit. Um, and then the blankie, that's matchy because, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's an Itadero's child, what do you expect's gonna happen? Um, and it's really nice and just, you know, cozy. Coast coast. So this is just in case it's even colder or I don't know. And maybe it's just a thing because everyone keeps saying babies always feel so cold. So I'm just like, I'm going to go with extra, you know, extra blankets and stuff. Then, oh, oh my God. How long has this been happening for? And how much of whatever's been happening have you seen? <laughs> I mean, it is not that kind of video. This is peanuts food. Okay. So one of the things that I, so I got the, I, I got a bunch of these Daryls and um, it's basically like a breastfeeding Dira kind of situation. Um, they're, you know how Dira's are, they're always very nice and loose fitting and everything comfortable. Oh, child. <laughs> Who do you think you are standing like that with a, oh my gosh. Okay. Power through. All you can do is power through. Oh my gosh, maybe if I sit with my legs like slightly apart. <sighs> okay, that actually kind of feels... <sighs> okay, basically. So this Dira, we're going to power through this contraction. Um, I, I don't know if you can see my stomach moving. Okay, of course I said that and then it stopped moving. But anyway, it allows you to breastfeed and it's really nice and loose fitting. I got it from... I will put their name here. I don't quite remember. They gifted me some and I bought some. But yes, so I've carried this. So this is this one I really love. So I've been wearing it. It was initially in my hospital bag. But then this is my favorite print of animal prints. This and zebra. So anyway, I've carried a bunch of them. So there's this one. There's this one. Oh, there's this one. So, you know, I'm praying. I don't have to be in the hospital long. But in case I am... I would like to have options of clothing to wear, right? Um, great, so that's that. Oh, and thank you so much for the recommendation for the mummy diapers. I still haven't managed to get them. I think they're called Dari. I could not find any, but I did find the Velvex one. Guys, have you seen the size? I used to think that the maxi pad was, you know, whenever I wear the maxi pad, like it's literally like my legs are like this. I'm walking around just, you know, moving in a very like, oh my God, there's so much happening between my legs right now. If you thought those were big. Look at the size of these things. Oh. It's like, I, I feel like this will go, it, 
let me tell you a real i swear it's, i swear it's a quick story when i first got my period um my mom never really told me anything about the, actually learned about parts of what a period entails because always used to come to our school and have classes from time to time for girls who are about to become um girls who are going into their adolescent stage and aside from that we were never allowed to talk about our period at home it was called something you don't talk about it you don't say much about it which was just like mm -mm. it was like it was, it was like sex it was like a weird thing to talk about so much so that i didn't actually know you have to have sex to have a baby i know i know i i know now first of all peanut is going to know every single thing about sex down to the last detail in excruciating detail because i just need our child to know it's a crazy world um but yeah, so then when I did get my period the first time, I automatically assumed I was pregnant because my mom always used to say, when you get pregnant, you get a child. When you get pregnant, you get a child. And also that was always counted with, dare you bring a child to this house? Dare you? And I was just like, okay, okay. So when I did get my period, <laughs> I automatically assumed I was pregnant. I even pulled out of sports. I was just like, whew, I was stressed. I was like, how am I going to raise this child? How am I going to tell my mother that I'm having this child? I had never even... <laughs> Kissed a boy is even an overstatement. I don't think I had ever even told a boy I like him at that point. Like it was, I was so, I was like levels of innocence and naivety were me and I was it. Anyway, so the first time I got my period, um, the pads which we were constantly given or never always came by the school had disappeared from my closet and I didn't have a pad. So I had to go to my parents' bedroom and I was like, hey, mom. Don't shout! I'm like, first of all, no one could hear. There's no way you could hear. I'm like, I'm sure daddy hasn't heard. And she told me to pick from her pads, and it was the maxi pad. And you need to understand, I only weighed 22 kilos at that time. My panty was not even small. My panty was extra small. That pad went, my panty was only here. I remember when I wore it, <laughs> there was so much pad left up here and so much pad left back here. It was like my panty only occupied this much of the pad. It was, can I, can it be seen? Great. It was wild. It was sticking to my skirt. It was a mess. Um, anyway, how I found out that I was not pregnant <laughs> was I had started doing that thing. I thought it was automatic that when you are pregnant, you just hold your stomach or you just, I don't know, you look like you're in pain or you just make those, but like whenever somebody like comes in, you're like, I don't, I don't know. Again, not so much. Everything else was working great, but some things were just not together. And I don't actually know if it was like touch, feel. My hands are clean though. Um, um, feel these, but these are the two that I, I pulled up so that I could be able to show you at the very least. Um, digressing, come back. There's a girl called Esther in my school who asked me one day, what is going on with you? You're acting weird. And then I told her, I think I'm pregnant. And she was like, who did you have sex with? I was like, what? Are you mad? I will not have sex until I am married and I will not have sex until Jesus says so. Oh my God, how dare you? The audacity. How can you even? She's like, so how did you get pregnant? And I was like, because my period started. And then she's like, and then? Basically, I learned that day how babies are made. Anyway, so these, after, as you can tell, I learned how babies are made. <laughs> the hard way um <laughs> this is the pads that i got that will go onto my where are they oh my god this bag is so packed it is so packed so so packed oh child oh that will go onto my very comfortable panties so the other thing that went into my hospital bag are these really comfortable cotton breathable high waist panties where now i can load this baby onto and it'll just hold it snug. you see this is this is a, now now my panties can fit the pad <laughs> so that's where so um so that's what goes into the bag as well so um, so you need, apparently you need, I feel like I'm stammering, don't laugh, but I swear I'm going to do that thing where, 
How do I make that volume go lower? Please reduce the volume a little bit. I don't even think they can hear me. Anyway, so I'm going to shut that. So, so basically, the, um, the pads that you use after you've given birth, um, because you're shedding a lot of blood, need to be different from the usual ones that you use. And these were specific. They're literally called maternity pads. So that's that. And they go onto these really comfy, dumpy, cotton, breathable, high-waist underwear. So I carried a bunch of those. Um, I've carried a bunch of burp cloths for the baby. I don't know if Peanut's going to need them. I, I, so I don't know what they provide at the hospital. Maybe I should ask. Maybe? Maybe. That would be good to know. But then I'd also just like to go with my own stuff. Just in case. Like, I'm not even trying to force them to give me stuff. I'll just be like, you. it's okay. I'm ready. All right. So those are burp cloths. And then, um, and more burp. I don't, okay, I have to repack this. Oh my God, Brad is so sweet. So we had already packed this together and now I'm going to be like, babe, I need you to come back and help me pack this thing. Okay, so there's that. What else did I carry? Um, oh. <laughs> oh, it just went on. You know, at this point I'm like, I bought so many gadgets. I'm just like, do my gadgets just work? Oh my gosh, without even me trying. Please tell me you also go off. Or has it been on in the bag this whole time? All right, it's off. So... I got this really coily, springy, uh, uh, there's a, there's a lady on YouTube who said that it gets really, really excruciatingly hot sometimes, and you just kind of want something just blowing air at you, and as much as there's AC in the room, you just need concentrated, um, you know, or I don't know, I don't know where it goes, really, but she said that you need a fan that has flexible arms, so I got a fan with flexible arms. I listen to instructions sometimes, you know? I don't know. I've never had a baby before. She's had three. Okay. Then, um, what else do I have? Oh, I like how everything is just going on as I pull it out. So this is my reading light. <laughs> I know, right? This is me assuming, assu imagine, imagine, I am assuming that I will have time as I'm busy laboring, as a baby is trying to leave from between my legs. I'm like... She did what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Oh my god. Calling the book club. <laughs> yes, hello. I cannot believe. Is the, is the head out? Is that okay? Alright, so cool. Alright, so is, do you need me in a different position? Okay, great. Yeah? Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. I almost cannot believe just how hilarious this is. Alright, do you need me in this position? No? Okay, I should just respect myself and put my ass down? Okay, great. Alright, okay. Yeah, I don't know when I think I will need this, but... I'm a girl guide, so I'm always prepared. Okay, that's that. And then, maybe I should save the nursing bra ones. Okay, anyway, it's fine. Let me just share with you. So, I've carried, um, so this you can, so for each Dira, there's like a matching <laughs> nursing bra. Um, I'm still learning how to unhook these things. I'm like, how do you, I, maybe this should be like my new activity. Oh, so you do that. I'm wearing one now, so wait. That's how you do it. Okay, now we know. Okay, let's put that back. Okay, so it's not that difficult. So yeah, it already has the um, the padding, which you can wash um, in case you're leaking milk. And then you just roll that down, bring, roll that down, bring out the tit. Maybe if I just zip this up a little further, the chances of boop, boop, would be fewer and then so yeah so i've carried one for each day or each dira like i don't know we'll see so there's that and then um oh <laughs> so something you should know so i am choosing not to have peanut baked um i want i want the doula to come after peanut is born hopefully naturally and then just kind of rub the goo that the baby has on their body when they come out of your body and we'll just kind of save the like I, that i want that good bacteria to stay for a while so i don't want an immediate bad situation however that's just one of the things that i want to do um also oh when the baby's born um i would love to hold the baby skin to skin 
for a while um, and then with the umbilical cord still attached. Um, and then, you know, eventually when it's time to cut the cord, clamp, clamp, my baby cakes B will be the one to clamp it, to cut it. And then I want to keep, oh my gosh, you guys, you know, I, one time I found, um, when I was young, I found the peg that normally has the umbilical cord dried on it. Um, and I found all four pegs of our umbilical cords in my mother's closet. And cause I was young and I didn't know what that was. I was just like, and the movie the price remember that nigerian movie had just come out and i remember thinking to myself what sorcery is my mother involved in and then it took me forever to ask her because i also had to explain what i was doing in her closet but then you see the thought of my mother being involved in sorcery was bigger than the beating feeling that I, the beating that i was definitely going to receive and i did was more i wanted to know more about the sorcery than i did about i, I didn't really think about the beating at the time but then yeah anyway i intend to keep all the umbilical cords god willing we get the two babies that's the plan oh so anyway i carry this for me for peanuts comfort so i don't know if we're going to need it again but just carrying it nonetheless at least for once am i still recording i am at least for once um as you can see we've proceeded through most of the things and it seems like oh, we're at half and half of what belongs to i know i'm sitting in a very unladylike fashion but let me tell you something i feel like i have lost all shame or need to behave in a ladylike decorum fashion during pregnancy because there's so many things that are so uncomfortable and i'm just like i don't even care what anybody thinks i'll be those babes who will be pulling out their tits and just breastfeeding the baby have you never seen a baby breastfeeding before did you not suckle the titty for your existence or okay fine maybe you're maybe you're a formula baby i'm sorry i'm sorry ooh, ooh. hey don't that that it's not a fight it's not a fight hey it's not a fight but hey, it's not. I feel like the miracle of birth has been normalized to the extent where we're made to feel bad or ashamed about things. And I'm like, mm -hmm. it is still the miracle of life. It is still a very, 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 very big deal, no matter how much you try to normalize it. So I will do what makes me feel comfortable creating a human being and then bringing one out. So yeah, that's that. What else have we packed? We have packed, honey, oh my God, my safari baby. I'm so excited. Um, the magnetic me onesie. Again, I don't know. I don't know how they do they swaddle the baby in um, hospital clothes the whole time they're there. In case not, I'm happy to, you know. Sorry, I had to burp. burp. Sorry, I had to burp. Um, so yeah, so I don't know whether the baby will not shower, for, not shower per se, which is the other thing that I had to learn. So I <laughs> Let me tell you about myself and hygiene. I love to shower. And I am an aggressive shower. Like, I'm those babes who have those gloves where you're just like, when you find me in the shower, there's nothing. I don't know. Whenever I see women showering and it's like, you know, I'm just like, that's how you shower? When you see me in the shower, you know what I'm there to. Like, I enter, even when I enter there, like, it's like, uh-huh. There is nothing sexy about how I shower. I will tell you that now. And it's uh, so then I was being told by the doula. That's not how you bathe them. You don't bathe them. Like I'm like I'm so thorough, and uh, babies are not supposed to be washed that way. So I don't know. Maybe the but for the sake of the bacteria staying on the baby for as long as possible, I will. That's the good bacteria that comes when you push the baby. Um, I will see how long before I allow for a wipe down to happen. But then either way. I will still put peanut into peanut's clothes if I'm allowed to, right? I mean, they can always be washed. However, I need to tell you guys about how all of a sudden I've become really woke about what products I use in the house. Because I think we have this thing where we assume um, all the toxins that are outside our house and we don't really read the ingredients of the products that we bring into the house, we use in the house for the sheets that we sleep on, for the things that we wash our clothes with. And I, I'm, I know it's going to sound like, oh my gosh, she's being one of those people. But I'm just like, honestly, sometimes you need to just read what's on the ingredient list of the things that you bring into the house. And with all the carcinogens and paraben this and toxicity that, I really do want to give Peanut the best chance of not falling ill or, you know, 
anything getting into the body that doesn't need to be there from when they're a baby. So B and I are very, very keen on just ensuring that even the things that we're using in the house, so that if we're keeping the toxins out we're of the house, even within the house, we're keeping the toxins out. So yeah, that's another whole video that I'm going to do. But then I discovered this brand called Grounded that's women owned. It's in Kenya um, and it's their products are just so baby friendly and everything is um, aside from the fact that it's, you know how, I don't even, So the first time I got these, um, they were in such, they were like three minutes apart and we're like, oh, oh, is it Libra? Is it, is it, is it happening now? Oh my God. But then I, I was dozing off and I could still talk and I was like, mm -mm, the, I think we're fine. Lasted for eight hours. And then one day that kid is going to say some ish to me. Like they don't understand the level of respect they need to put on my name. Anyway, so call grounded. I absolutely love it. I will... So I've been trying out their product because, again, you know me, it's with all due respect to every brand. Until I try it, I never come online or go anywhere, really, and talk about, oh, my God, please get this. Oh, my God, this is da-da-da. Oh, my God, da-da-da-da. Sorry, I'm looking to see if I'm still recording. Um, I'm, I've been trying it for about a month to see the difference in how everything in the household is. Selena loves it. If you don't know Selena, Selena is literally the queen of our home. This lady, I don't know what I would do without her. She is perfect. I love her so much. And um, generally, I'm one of those people who are very kind of hands-on with the products we use in the house and that and all these things. So we've been trying out their products and I, you know I would never rave about something unless I'm 10,000% sure that I love it. So we're on we're finishing the month of trial and then i will tell you guys about it but yeah i've just become a little more cautious about what comes into our household sorry my clothes are just falling apart but get used to it because <laughs> breastfeeding time you will see a lot of this did okay um all right let's see what else we have in the hospital bag um so i i mean these things are so darn precious honestly can you go around my neck no but yeah, so I've carried a couple of bibs. I don't know if we'll need them, but um, you know. Um, there's that. What else have we carried? Okay. Because, because it is so cute and I just gonna handle it. Okay, so I carry more clothes, which is just in case. Again, clothes, clothes. Um, this one was supposed to go with, I carried matching underwear with my, <laughs> with my Diras. And then for Peanut, I carried matching, um, hats. And so one of the things that I really love about, um, these onesies, and I didn't buy gloves, is, um, because you can just kind of, it's gloved. Hands up. It's gloved again. So what, yeah, in case it just gets hella, hella, hella cold. The really adorable little hat. So that's what those are for. And then I think this was for this one, right? And this was a gift, I, I believe. Very, also, so my sister and Razia put together the cutest baby shower. It was really, really nice. So I generally didn't suspect anything until on Saturday when on the day of the, of the shower, when I was being told to wear the most dramatic dress. And then I'm like, what are we doing? That we're going car shopping. I was like, I'm trying to look broke when I go cash. I'm not trying to get the dealership to be like, oh my God, let's charge you everything. Of course not. Anyway, it was really sweet. It was really nice. And the gifts are so impeccably cute. Oh my God. Ah, oh, precious. And it was my heart. I'll save that video for another time. My heart is so full. I just like, first of all, our friends have given us the cutest baby gifts and I am so grateful. Thank you. A lot of these actually. I'm just like, oh yeah, that was a gift. That was a gift. I don't remember exactly from who. So that's why I'm not going to say the names, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we blame it on mom brain? <laughs> okay. And then this is my like cosmetics bag, right? Why does it feel wet? Did something spill in here? No. So it kind of you know, hooks and whatnot. So in here I have put the baby's um, butt paste, which is like the diaper cream. Um, let's see what I have in here. 
<laughs> Did I tell you guys how much I love to shower? My gloves. I love my gloves. I always have gloves because I feel like if you're going to scrub down, you need to scrub down, girl. Okay? And then I carried um, face wipes. I love these Neutrogena wipes. They're actually makeup removers, but I'm not going to be wearing any makeup. But then I'm just like, just in case. I've, I've also been told you can get so tired, you actually don't want to have to go. Oh, so you can't shower immediately after giving birth. But you're allowed to be under the shower or in the tub. Or like it's like a tub situation prior to. Um, so I don't know. This is just me and my usual over hygienic ways. And then I've carried like the little remedies. Remember the little remedies pack? I've carried all those little um, solutions and whatnot. This is my brightening serum. I know. At what point? My day will be brightened by the baby. What more do I need? What is this? This is my exfoliating face wash. I swear I have something serious in here. I'm just pulling things out. See, this is the gas relief drops. I knew I had something serious in there. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, what's this? Oh, this is my pain relief spray for... Um, and then shower gel. Um, and then, let's see what else is in here. Um, even I didn't remember what I have. Nipple cream? Uh, <laughs> so I was going to see this video and just be like, this girl ain't serious. But I feel like just because you're going to be having a tough time, it don't mean that you should have dark circles. So I have eye cream. Um, and then this is marula oil. Um, then what else? I told you I'm obsessed with this brand called Grounded. So they have something called the Monster Repellent, which is such a cute name. But it's basically this room and pillow spray that has lavender and it smells so good. Oh my goodness. So it has pure water, lavender, frankincense essentials, um, and good vibes. Like how cute, like how, how cute is that for an ingredient list? And then there's no synthetic fragrances. It is child safe. There's no sulfates, no parabens, and no carcinogens. So <laughs> I am obsessed with this. It smells so good too. It's just, oh, and you know how lavender really helps with restful sleep. Again, I don't know why I'm assuming I will need all these things, but it's in my hospital bag. Okay. And then toothbrushes for me and B. Oh my gosh. Do you guys use, um, they're called Curaprox. Curaprox, right? I love these. They're really great. I need to do, I was asked to do a video about the whole braces situation. Um, I will. But yeah, I love the Cura Prox. It's really soft bristles and it's just really, really great. My favorite toothbrushes. And then this is my lotion. I carried my little travel lotion, my Dio, um, and that's all that my toilet bag wrote. Okay, so we're just going to put this stuff back. I had organized it in a way where it all fits. So, um, so I'm going to put, um, I'm going to, so my bag is full full. But I'm going to have a small bag for my husband's things um, because he's going to stay at the hospital with me. Um, hopefully, we don't have to be there long. Again, this is all just me being overly prepared. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So, I think it's a really good thing that we get to practice this pain because I don't think I would have ever known how to... Because during yoga and um, doula classes and everything, you learn about the breathing exercises. But I also feel if we never used to get Braxton Hicks, how would you know when to implement? Like, I don't think I would know the implementation of all the things I've learned. So this is great. I'm grateful that we get these. Um, it's a, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's like cheating before the exam. Um, all right. Ah, oh, what else is in here? My freedom mom bag, which is also where I got. Remember the mom bag in my things that I bought for the hospital? That's where I got that from. And let's just see what's in here. So in here we have socks with grips. We'll see. In case you've forgotten my excitement about this bottle. Um... You know, but these are so. This is actually an after birth situation, like when you want to clean the nether regions. Um, so there's that one, so that's packed in there. In here is um, boy short briefs, but these are so they're kind of like 
these ones, right? But they're disposable. Oh, did you see that? I was like, wait, they sound like disposable. <laughs> okay, um, so that's what that's for. And then um, the healing form. Um, healing form? Healing foam. Um, these are the cooling pad liners. So I can, so on the pad, I can put these liners on the pad, which is great, right? And then, oh, I haven't seen this zipper. Is there something else? <gasps> it's another compartment, girl, get out! Okay, great. I don't really have anything to put there for now. But, okay, it's good to know. I will be using this to travel. This is like really handy dandy. All right, so that's what's in um, this bag, right? Um, put that away. Oh, so I was my my doula told me to get a. It's like a yoni bag, but she said it's. Um, I, I'll get the name and I'll put it here. Um, oh God, you forget the socks. Um, but basically, you put it on your toilet bowl and you sit on it. So she said back in the day, women used to sit on saline water, which is like salted water or actual salt. I was like, fresh out the, onto the. Have you ever tried putting salt on a wound? I don't even know. So, um, that freaked me out, but she said apparently it doesn't. Then also, again, I'm like, is it like one of those things, have you ever gotten hurt and then somebody puts hydrogen peroxide and it burns for a second and then you're just like, oh, that feels so great. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. Okay. So there's that. Um, so this, by the way, now that it's lighter, <laughs> is my hospital bag. Right. Okay. Um. Let's see what else is in here. So I, let me even put it up here. It might just makes it easier. Does it work on the video? It does. Okay, so these are some more, um, what do you call? You know, when, you're, when your boobs leak, that thing. That's what this is. And then what was in here is, I think, not that bra. Is it that bra? No, in here was the bra that allows me to use the pumps. But I I think it's actually it's a good thing I've done this video. It must still be in the bedroom. Because I don't have it here. So that was supposed to go in here. And these were the pad this was the padding that came with it to absorb any extra milk. Then um then yeah, so that's that. And then in here is ooh. So the this was like the, like it, it's not waist trainer per se, but like it's the, you know, it's shikas and like, it, it, it like kind of just pelvis belt. It's right there. <laughs> it's one size fits all, which is great. So you wrap it around. Um, remember how I told you how there's this thing I've heard where you kind of feel empty or like you just have like a lot of um, extra skin hanging around. So this is what that is for. I don't even know if I'll get to use it that soon. Assuming I don't have a C-section, um, but from what the doctor said, we seem to be on the way to a natural birth, which is which is what I want. So I'll be very happy, and I'm doing it epidural less, which is <laughs> something I keep saying. But then oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I keep hearing all the different stories about it. And I'm just like I don't know. Like if they get it wrong, then you have like back problems. Or I I don't know. Also, again, don't take medical advice from me consult your doctor i am just but a youtuber slash you know new mom who's just sharing um okay what else is in here the baby is so huge from at least what i've seen on the ultrasound i don't even know if this is ever going to fit but um you know we'll just carry it you never know also selena has insisted she's like how how do you not carry vests you have to carry a vest, so we're carrying a vest. Um, and then, of course, baby wipes. Um, so I did. I and I'm, I've. I know. I know. I have received a lot of comments, and they're like, "Don't buy any product in bulk. Let the baby try, and maybe the baby will have will may work with it, may not work with it. So, so we've bought enough products for one month." Right? If it doesn't work, if like we try the Pampers, the Pampers doesn't work, we will try a different brand. It's not, we didn't buy for six months or like anything of the sort. So again, it was just a month supply because if for $40 I can get that many, then, um, you know, I had to, I had to go where the bargain was. Um, <laughs> we do love our baby, but um, 
the bargain. All right, speaking of that, we have the deck. It's only after I packed these diapers and then I was told how many diapers a baby goes through in a day. I was like, oh, so it's not like your period where it's like, you know, you only need so many. So I'm going to pack a lot, a lot more diapers into that mix. Um, what else? <laughs> a charger. You remember for my light, my, my, my book light, the, the book I plan to read while in labor. Oh my God. While I'm chilling on the beach with my pina colada. Yes, that one. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, I packed... Um, you remember these cold therapy, instant cold therapy and absorbent pad in one base? It's like a double day for your vagina. So that's what I planned. So these ones, I packed two of them. So one, one thing I love about this... So I literally bought a hospital bag. It has so many compartments in here um, for all the different things. So I have a place where now the, like that went. And then, oh, here are some more. These are the nipple, sh these are not nipple shields, sorry. The, the absorbent pads for the titties. But these ones are disposable. They're not washable. Um, so there's that. Is there anything else? Please tell me we're done. Have we reached the bottom? We have. Yay! Okay, so the only other thing that I packed is, um, I swear I didn't steal them from a hotel. I <laughs> I bought these for the guest bedroom and then I was like, I'm gonna need these. I got a bunch of hotel style slippers. Um, and I was just like, I may need them. My husband may need them. I don't know. So I'm gonna get them. All right, great. So that was that. And I think, oh, 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 and lip balm. I've been told, <laughs> I've been told there's another level of chocolate. There's the level of, ch like, because you're doing so much, <sighs> all the breathing. And I just, just um, generally, my lips have been very dry during this pregnancy, by the way. Mm. Not very kissable. But um, yeah, there was lip balm, which, I don't know why I put it in that. I'm like, what if it falls out? You know, but it's the only place where I know I'll remember that it is. So let me leave that there. And then I will quickly... Oh, there's more! <laughs> Do you remember the one that was in the box? The Frida cooling setting thing? This is how big that ice pack is. So this is what goes into the freezer. And then... Um, So this is the seat. Then this enters there. And then you sit on it. And it's just kind of. So yeah, that's what this is for. And it's portable. So I was like, I'm going to carry this 100%. And you just inflate it from here once you open it. I'm just like, OK, 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 OK. All right, so I'm going to just put that back in there. So definitely that made it to the hospital bag. While I'm using my reading light to read my book, I will be sitting on this. Okay. Um, also, how do you like properly just secure it so it doesn't... And that's all she wrote for the hospital bag. Oh, there's the breast pump. There was the manual one, which... Um, so I have the manual one that I showed you. So that's going to go in and also the electrical one. Um, oh, I found something else. So... This is for the um, the pacifier. So once we, so I'm carrying this. So this is, so the pacifier will be attached to that end. This will be clipped to one end and we have the pacifier. So that's what this is for. Um, so I'll just clip that. Actually, let me clip that here. How do you clip this thing? They should probably sit at the top because I'm going to definitely need it. Like, it's huge. <laughs> Alright, so um, this should probably sit at the top. Um, the bibs and bobs, which I'm not very sure will even be allowed to use while there, but, you know, you can try! But you think I'll be like, I'm a paying customer. I am a customer. I allow you to use my things. I don't know. Um, we'll see how that pans out. 
we were, um, um, I don't know. Um, um, I love, love our Gaina and I'm just kind of looking forward to seeing how I didn't, I don't want my mom in the delivery room because I feel like she'll be giving me some major hardcore advice. Are you crying? Are you crying? Do you think you're the first one to ever give up? Have I told you about these high waist panties? It is two in one. You can wear it as a panty, but it also doubles up as a bra. Thank you. All right, so we'll put that away. Do you think I'm supposed to like, well, as much as my husband and I more or less know everything that's in here, do you think we should probably walk him through what everything is? Or in that moment, I'll be like, grab me the D2D4P panty. And he's like, what panty is that? You know, like he's not using all the technical terms. Do you, oh my goodness, you know how extra I am. Do you think I'll be like that person in the delivery room? Oh my God, oh, you get, she wore the wrong onesie with the wrong hat. Oh my God, this is it. She's gonna be a stripper. All right. I feel like the bag has suddenly become smaller. See, this is why Barrett does the packing and not me. Cause the man has amazing hands. And also, he just knows how to pack bags in a way where, where before nothing would fit, suddenly everything fits. We shall speak of this reading light for the rest of our lives, guys. Feel free to make fun of me. I will tell you if it even sees the light of day. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my hospital bag. Okay. So now, we're going to try something which I wanted to try in front of camera because <laughs> it is so, it was such an uncomfortable, oh, sorry, before I forget, let me attach this so that when, when everything is being packed, Oh my goodness, how could we forget the charger to my reading light? I mean, can you imagine? How will I survive labor without my charger to the reading light? All right, so there's that. And I think I should attach this just so that it's very, very, very evidently clear. We don't go without it. All right, now we'll put this down. Oh yeah, oh, the comfort. Like sitting with like, there's this angle that just, it works. It just, it does something. It just makes me feel so much better. All right, so the other thing that's going in my hospital bag that cannot fit in my hospital bag is my baby Buddha. Um, this is just gonna come in full on rack sack mode, but it needs to be cleaned first before I can um, travel with it because it has baby bottles. But it's just something I learned that I didn't know. Did you know? So let me show you because I think it's easier than showing you my titties. Um, do you see like the bumps on this thing? Can you see that? Can I don't know. Maybe I should come closer. There. Do you see those like bumpy bumps? Right. So it turns out not every woman has them around her tits. I did not know this. Please don't look shocked. What do you think I do for a living? Go inspecting titties? Like I'm just like... I, I don't know. I think I, I just assumed that was like a normal thing. Like old babes have like the ding, 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 dings around their titties, you know? Um, <laughs> apparently it's not the case. So sometimes I wonder if Peanut's going to watch this and just be like, oh my God, that lady really needs to chill. Um, also, if my baby ever calls me that lady with that tone. So we need to wash the models. That's why I was saying I haven't even bothered putting it in the hospital bag, which it will not fit in anyway. So, um, you remember this contraption? I haven't even removed like the like the sticker on it. I feel like it's like when you bought a new phone. All right. Um, we'll just put that with the other stickers over there. Okay. So yeah, this time around. Hello, prepared. Okay, cool. So this is the, so there's so many different things to it. I'm like, 
I still haven't read the instructions. But I'm getting there. As in, just watch me for now and just see how far I've come. You know, from the lady you watched like three weeks ago. So just push that in. <sighs> Harder. <sighs> um, okay, so the one that's the really long one. Um, it's not going to make you laugh. The Tepsi charge is already being used for all kinds of equipment in this house. It's not in any shape or form doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, well, let's go to the side. Okay. So then these two enter this one. You know, it's like... Maybe that also I finally... so. You know that your nose tends to grow when you're pregnant because of the mucous membranes and the blood vessels in your nose because you have two extra liters of blood. It's a whole thing. Anyway, so I recently just noticed uh, when I was when I was doing my makeup, I was like, ah! if I was in the Avengers, I I know what my superpower would be. I would take your breath away. You should not stay in the elevator with me. It's insane. I love it. Okay, so these link up to your body, so it's like that. Um, and it all comes in the in the in the thing like the when you buy the pack. So basically, this is the entire thing, which is why you can attach this to the bra that I showed you guys, and then you just kind of walk around with that part hanging. And then these bits are like securely attached to the bra, so you can kind of you know go about your day doing whatever it is that you're doing. All right, so I'm gonna try it now. Um, Do I look alieny? Like that's basically how it shows. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, okay, okay. Are we ready? Okay, okay. So it has three settings, left, right, or middle. So I'm going to leave it in the middle, okay? And then... is so straight ah! do you think when this is going to start coming out I'll be so freaked out if that happened oh my so it's like a it's a very how are men in India finding okay, I don't know how it feels for the other person but I can tell you for a fact there is absolutely nothing sexual about this is that the highest there's a fat what is this a vibrator like extra suck suck so it has a timer um and it just kind of lets you how know how long but just i mean i will give it a point for compatibility like it's very compact uh, not to compact it's very compact oh my god it just it's weird it is such a weird feeling 
I don't know how to explain it. Do you think this is how cows feel when they're pulling their udders? Okay, I've also had it on for too long at this point. You must think I'm enjoying it. No, I just find... I'm just kind of trying to understand the feeling. It is... I'm trying, and also see what's happening. So these little sacks of here swell up. Oh my God, this is so strange. Like, I absolutely cannot. So what's the manual one like? Did you just like put it there and then like, who? Okay, this is, okay, this is, this has been, oh wow. Okay, that's quite, quite the suction. Like it really just like hangs in there. I don't know how to explain the feeling. It's like, definitely not like when, you know, your titties are being, you know. I, I can't find the word to describe it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to experience it to understand. It is definitely not, I didn't know what to expect, but that's also not, that was strange. It was like, that's, that's the best way I can explain it. It's just like, it's like, that's how it feels. And just like, and then you're like, suddenly it's, and then you're just like, it's so strange. I just, I can't. I think I should, I, I should sign off and just go with my weird ass self and like lie on the bed in a fetal position until I can understand what just happened to me. That was wild. And that's gonna be every is it is it every three oh and that's the machine so I'm tr I'm curious so the baby has to learn how to do the thank you for watching this is this has been weird right it's been weird for me to imagine it's not just you oh my god I'm like blown away. And my tits feel weird now, you know? <laughs> oh my, that, that was strange. But shout out to the super cool bra, but yo, that was strange. Yo. I just want to sit in the corner and think about what has just happened to me. I don't even know. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Check on me in the comment section. Ask me if I'm okay. Ask me if I am okay. Oh, for real now, you really need to ask me if I'm okay. Maybe that'll help me forget. <sighs> that was, my name is Anita Darren. Do not forget to subscribe. What the hell was, <sighs> Okay, we will, you know, as my mother very politely puts it, Penny, I've done it before you, Penny will do it after you. So it's nothing new, but god damn. Shout out to technology, but damn. I'm a little traumatized. Just a little bit. Just let's put this away. It's triggering me. May we never speak of this again, okay? Let's just never speak about this. Let this be like the awkward thing between the world and myself. Let us just never speak about it. That was weird. I mean, I'm glad I tried. Now I know. I mean, now you know. I mean, now everyone, now Peanut, like just... stay that way okay maybe just maybe it should stay that way it should